Dan John, Dan John .net here. Uh, my friend Brian is filming. Made a good point. Uh, made a lot of progress back in December and January, and then it's been slowing up. Today is the day after tax day, uh, and we had a huge snowstorm. But when I came back and we were talking about that, I decided that one of the things that helped me in December, January, is I took a, a, a light week, a deloading week, and I haven't really been doing that for a while. The problem guys like me have with deloading, you know, uh, when I was young, if you didn't, you know, go all the time 100%, there was something wrong with you. So I like to either be off or I like to be training. But deloading has great value. So for example, today's workout, I did the mobility workout, which I have, and you can read it down there, I'm sure. The 250 swings with all the stretches. I did dips and chins, and then I did three loaded carries. That's still 250 swings, still a lot of goblet squats, still a lot of marching in place but I just use lighter bells and lighter loads. So if you find yourself stalling sometimes, circle around those weeks where you went after it, you went after it, you went after it. What you begin to notice is if you're going hard all the time, your perception of effort might still be here, but the reality of the workout is sliding. So just plan in an occasional deload, an occasional dip, and I think you'll be happier in the long run. Um, overall, I still have to agree with the greats from the yesteryears that taking maybe even up to six weeks off a year or longer, just take it off might have some value. Personally, I can't do that because that would, uh, uh, we'd have to call somebody to help Mike because I train for here mostly. But uh, just an idea, just remember that, plan in some deloading, watch things start to tumble, check your deloads. Just like what Josh Hill has said about when you take your weekly food journal, you know, you put, a, you put a circle around every time you had protein and you maybe put a big X on every cheat meal. If you look at your calendar and you see nothing but hard workout, hard workout, hard workout, and you look at your journal and you see your loads drifting down, you need to start planning deload weeks. Thanks so much, Dan John.